Lack and Greg Vegan Camp, the 30th of July 2023. Avocado season. Long end season. Mmm, aloy magloya. Kekatum. Kekatum. If the rain falls, then we have a nice normal season. This is the way how we go and get it. Yeah, Greg's technique sucks. He doesn't have skill to get it. This is not sharp. And after we, we get them, we're just gonna cover it with with some leaves so they will regrow. Uh -huh. Lime season! I need academia nut. Support structure season. Some beans are doing uh, really well and some are not doing well. Um, I'm not sure what is going on, if it's an animal inside, but we can take out the, the root, check out the root. Everything here is, is rotten, so I'm not sure why these are, are rotting like this. And let's see if there are some animals inside. But if you know anything about some beans dying like this uh, please let us know in the comments below this is a very small powder post beetle looks like a powder post beetle this is another example of a bean uh, in an early stage that is dying uh, like the other one I was showing so we can take it off you can see like okay this is there are here are termites mm. so if there's if the soil is filled with termites and other bugs it's just hard for the bean. The question is, did the bean die and then the termite came? Or did the termites come and kill the bean? It's just, yeah, I would not be alive if I was eaten from the inside like this. This is the latest uh, planted papaya tree. And in my opinion, they need to be around this size uh, before you can move them. If I've tried to move a lot that were like very much smaller, but they just don't survive. Uh, so if they're like about this size, it's a good size for moving papayas. And it doesn't matter that some of these leaves, they, they die, will, will probably die off. But as soon as you can see that they are shooting uh, new, and you can just water it a bit in the beginning, then it will probably survive. We also do that, that we uh, plant it nearby our compost piles because there are some nutrients from the compost piles and also saving water in the compost piles that the papaya tree can benefit from. This is the last Nam Dog Mai in the garden. So we still have some problems with some reds and now we're trying to close everything to be completely sealed so the reds cannot go uh, inside anymore. And one of the biggest problems with this structure is because the roof has some waves and the the metal sheets, the Sanka Sea, we leave some gaps open so it's really easy for lizards and for, uh, for rats to go inside. And this wall really sucks because the rats they just chewing through it. And as always, vegan power, Mexican spinach for lunch. Yeah, go vegan. <laughs>